there, Mr. Pelagonium here on a very, very wet morning. Uh, absolutely pouring with rain, so excuse the noise on the <laughs> on the top of the roof of the greenhouse is absolutely bucketing down. Although strangely, it is relatively bright. Now, yesterday we had, I'm filming this actually on Friday the 29th of December. Uh, yesterday the UK had this storm, Garant, Garant, excuse my pronunciation of it, um, go through with sort of monumental winds uh, that particularly seem to affect us down here in the south, although nothing was really reported down in the south of England with regards to it. But I had my glass house open because it was dry, and I had this giant um, hanging pot, regal hanging pot, uh, which blew off its hanger, crashed down onto two of my favourite um, standard plants, standard grown plants, and it's basically wrecked them. We're, we're going to go through a little bit of a a sort of reclamation process, I think, because I do want to try and salvage those. Um, the plant itself fell off um, and crashed onto the ground. So the first thing I've got to do here is actually attempt to salvage the basket. Uh, well, the pot, rather, the hanging pot. Um, the labels have fallen out. Now, this happened late last night and it was dark. Uh, and I couldn't really see what I was doing. All I ba very basically did was sweep up the mess. Um, so I've got to actually initially just reseat this. Um, now this was ideally going to be entered into a show this year. What probably made it slightly worse was the fact that I actually just watered this a couple of days ago. So it was actually quite heavy. Uh, which certainly hindered the fact that it was actually going to crash down even heavier. It's a real mess. I've actually only really just started the video and we're working through this together. I just need to reseat it. And you can see, obviously, we've got compost everywhere. I'm trying to see what stems are actually broken. That one's broken. You can see that it's limp and loose. Right, so I'm just going to clean my scissors. And we'll begin some work and seeing what we can salvage here. I will like to see that's completely snapped. So I'm going to have to just cut that off. That's gone, unfortunately. I mean, this will grow back fairly quickly because, of course, regals grow very fast. I mean, you do, just do have to make some sort of quick assessments if you have a situation like this. And there's the worst one. I'm just going to, there we are. What's that one that completely snapped off? I've just tidied up that trunk. Now it's left an exposed trunk. I'm unsure whether you may be able to see that, but what I will do with that is just coat that with some sulfur powder. And that will hopefully seal that. That one's completely broken as well. The other thing is, is that the, uh, the basket is completely broken. Um, hopefully you may be able to see that there. So that's sort of the salvage operation for that. I'm just going to dust any loose compost down into this uh, giant saucer I've got here. So that's loosened that off. But there we are, I've just coated those two big breaks there. There's a smaller one just over this side, which I'll just dab on a bit there. But that has fared relatively well compared to the two standards that it actually fell on. So let's have a look at these. Now, here's the debris. I'm literally doing this together. We're doing this together. A Denjo Tinto Mara standard, and there is one of the stems completely just snapped off. Put that in the bin. White chiffon. <laughs> in the bin. White chiffon. So there we are, another one. A little bit of white fly on that, so maybe it was meant to happen. Right, first thing, first one we'll have a look at is the Adenzo Tinto Mara. Uh, which incidentally is very light, probably needs a water. Uh, I'll actually just move that across. 
Right, so we're quite tall on this one. Um, so it's broken that stem there. It's snapped another stem. Now this, st this standard was actually quite young. And I think what I'm going to do here, now it is dry, because I like to keep all of my zonals very dry during the, uh, during the winter. But all that I will probably do with this is, ex is basically enable the head to grow a little bit higher. Because if we look at this straight on, we had a branch growing out there. This was forming the head, really. So what I'm going to do, I will probably take that one off, this stem here, take that off. And there's the broken one, and I will take that one off. Just tie the new head start, which is this part here, where we've got this new split stem. And that will become the start of the new head. So because this is relatively young, um, we're not going to have too many problems in recovering this one, I don't think. Right, so I'm just going to clean my knife. So I'm just going to lock this side shoe off here. It's actually breaking quite easily, of course, because it's a big stem. Right, I'm just dusting this now. That's well dusted. Right, so we've rescued that one, and now it's the really bad one. I'm just going to plop this down here. The other problem that we've got with this regal that's been smashed is that this has been freshly watered, so I'm going to have to do some work on this. Now, I was actually just about to stop this for the show this year, um, but this will not now be being entered in any show. Uh, we, we've got a split, you see, right there. Now, I mean, it was a relatively short stem anyway, this one. So going up another four or five inches is not going to harm it. Now, the first thing that I have got to do is really tidy up this split here. But I think I'm definitely going to go for retaining this one here only because I think the stems from this, it's got two really good strong stems. So I'm going to nip that, nip that, nip that, take this one out, which is there, tidy up. Oh. Get rid of that tie-in because it's now redundant. It's holding up something that's not technically there anymore. Right, so, goodness me. This is, I've got to tidy this up. Just get the knife on that. This is like first aid in practice, really, what we're doing today. And obviously, if you have a similar sort of scenario, I'm just trying to tidy these wounds up. Branches will shear. Uh, they really will, will shear across if they get split back. You have to take them back as far as possible uh, and then just give them a good coat of uh, sulphur, particularly at this time of year. So that one's done. Add some sulfur in there. Now I think this is going to be the stem that I'm going to uh, to grow on. There we are. That's looking much better, actually. I'm pretty well convinced that this will be the better of the two sides. I've got the odd white fly there, which I'm just killing. Uh, there we are, that, that's not so bad now actually. So we've basically got two sides. I think it will almost certainly be this one. 
Easter will be the one that I will take forward. Right, now rather annoyingly, um, the last part of the video that I've done sorting out this regal didn't record. I think it's because I had an alarm go off. Um, and obviously it stops the video from carrying on recording. I stopped the video, on, uh, I stopped the, the alarm on my watch, uh, but uh, it just stopped the video as well. So I recorded about five minutes there that it didn't catch. So I'm gonna redo that now. Um, now anyway, what I decided, uh, I did decide to do, I think you heard me speaking there about the fact that one of two sides was much better than the other. So I've decided actually to go for it and just slice out the weaker side. It was full of white fly as well, the other side, so I'll just slice that off. Lots of dust, uh, I've dusted it off with the old sulfur. I've pulled, it, pulled this stem, this new sort of, well, what will be the main stem, just back across. Uh, and I think that's relatively tidy now. That'll pull that across and it'll straighten it up a bit more as time goes on. What I will do, I, once it's settled down, I'll give it a few weeks just to settle down, because regals, of course, are still very much growing in the winter, uh, and I will give it a stop, um, probably in two or three weeks. This is useless now for show this year, so I will give it a stop just to grow on and begin to, you know, develop well this head. A little bit of dead bark on there, the bin down there. Uh, so that's the end of that one, uh, where I've just scraped that. I will add a bit of salt on there. there we go. Right, so that's that. I, I'm pretty happy with that now. As I've said, uh, and I think I said anyway, I, I've got a spare. I've got a, a younger version of white chiffon growing um, down the bottom there, which is sort of much younger, but it's growing very well. So... Um, but I, I think this will this will grow into a pretty decent standard now, and it will have another six inches or fifteen centimeters of growth uh, on the main stem, which I think is probably better anyway, to be quite honest. So from a really bad situation, we've got two standards that we're just growing a bit taller, um, and we've managed to recover them. That's the key thing that I suppose I'm trying to get over with this video. So that's just about it. Uh, I've just shown you the, uh, the problems that we can get during the winter, during really bad periods of weather. Uh, very unusual to get such dry conditions uh, with wind blowing like that. Hence the reason I had the glass house open. Certainly today it's absolutely bucketing down with rain, as you can probably hear. Um, so that's just about it. Um, Remember, if you're not subscribed and just passing along and have just stumbled across this video, think about subscribing. I've tried to do quite a few bits and pieces um, as much as I can. I'm quite into getting into these shorts. I think I'm going to be doing a lot more of those as time goes on. Trying to cram it all down into 60 seconds, though, is a, uh, is a little bit of a challenge for me, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so I'll look forward to seeing you again, probably do something on the Pelagonium and Geranium Society channel in the coming week or two, uh, but I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.